Okay, I thought I'd make a video of this. Um, my 1985 Corvette was having a problem where, as the manual describes it, it says engine lopes while idling or idles erratically. So check for a vacuum leak, leaking EGR valve or plug PVC valve, air filter clog, fuel pump, leaking head gasket, anyway, all the above, right? And then it directs you over to chapters one and six. Well, long story short, what happens is if you're getting a code 32 associated with that, there's a very good chance that your EGR system is having an issue. In my case, it uh, ended up being the EGR valve being stuck open, okay? So if you wanna go through this troubleshooting thing. Now, another thing I did, shot myself in the foot, is the EGR temperature switch, okay? There is an adjustment to that, and I'll explain that later in the video. Hello everyone, here we are again in Juan's garage working on my 1985 Corvette. Now the problem was the car was stalling in stop and go traffic and it just didn't seem right and going through just about everything, it came down to the EGR valve. Now I've replaced it already but there's one item that I made a mistake on and I'll tell you guys about it as I go along. So, if you've already seen other videos, you take this off, take the center um, section off, and um, we'll go from there. Okay, now that you have the air manifold off, this is the EGR valve right here. And it's really important on how your car runs. Now, back in here, there's one mounting bolt, and over here is the other mounting bolt. Now, this guy here in the back is super hard to get off. What I used was a shallow uh, 3.8 socket, and notice that it has a 7 16 area here where you can put your wrench on it. So what you do is you put that on top of that bolt like so, and then you take your 7 16 wrench that has a uh, knuckle on it or a uh, articulating little wrench end here and you set it on there and you take it off and that's how you're going to put it on that's if there's an easy way to do it i'll tell you what let me know that's how i did it okay this is a very important part of this egr operation you have that little uh probe the sense where that single wire goes into that little white looking thing there anyway that is your temperature sensing switch and it feeds back to the engine i unplugged it but it plugs in right uh you can't really see it but it's right there okay anyway if you follow it around you can trace it and there it is anyway important thing is the depth i have my meter on it you see how i've got zero ohms that means that switch is closed it's not supposed to be closed when your engine is cold so there, I read on the web, you have to back that thing out about a 16th in. I thought when I put it back in, oh, this uh, sensor is loose. So I screwed it all the way in. And then later on, I'd start the car and I'd get the check engine light. And then I'd go for a run, turn it off, turn the car back on, and the check engine light would go away. And it's all due to this uh, uh, sensor and how far it is screwed in there. So now I'm gonna back it out. Uh, they say 116, excuse me, 1 eighth to 3 16 So, uh, or maybe two or three turns. So I'll test it again after I do that. Okay, so I backed out the switch and uh, now you can see I got the probe and I'm hitting it to ground and uh, no more continuity. So that's a good thing. Now, what you have to do is you have to back it out and you look at it closely, I'm trying to get a good focus, maybe just two threads, three threads, but that has to be backed out. If not, you get the check engine light from a cold start, okay? Now I'm gonna reroute this over and plug it back in to uh, into this guy right here. You can reach him, okay? 
And uh, that should do it. Don't forget to plug this guy back in when you put your manifold in, or you'll be taking it off to plug it back in. Boy, did I make that mistake. Alrighty, now just put the thing back together and we'll see if it works. Okay, so the original problem was that in stop and go traffic, the car would stall and sometimes shut off. Or coming to a stop or pulling into the driveway, letting off the accelerator, the car would turn off. It would just stall for any unknown reason. I went through everything. I just went through just about everything and then finally read up about the EGR might be stuck open. And it makes sense because the EGR will uh, ruin the gas fuel to air mixture and um, anyway so that was one of the problems and then after I swapped out the EGR valve I got a check engine light and I thought to myself I didn't work on anything else just the EGR valve that's when I found the sensor was loose or so I thought and so I twisted the temperature sensor switch all the way in and that was a mistake because then at a cold startup the engine, I'd get the check engine light. So now I tested the sensors, I backed it out, and now I'm gonna start the car and see if I get that same. Okay, there it is, no check engine light. Awesome. Car was really cold. Now I do have to adjust the idle. Um, hard to see, there's the garage doors open, I got a lot of glare. But okay, it looks like that might do the trick. No more check engine light after adjusting that EGR uh, sensing switch, temperature sensing switch.